Salutations viewers, my name is Game Dame and welcome back to another one of Game Dame Reacts. So with this first person uh, co-op shooter zombie game coming out, there is a card system that is coming into play and I'm not exactly sure what it means. So without further ado, let's watch the official card system trailer for Back for Blood. the award-winning creators of Left 4 Dead, Turtle Rock Studios presents an all-new first-person zombie shooter that utilizes a system of advanced AI known as the Game Director. The Game Director works behind the scenes, monitoring players' actions, health, and choices, then responds by choreographing the world around them. Each player gets a roller coaster ride, and no run will ever be the same. Back for blood. Slay, earn, and replay. A cornerstone of an unforgettable game is replayability. With Back for Blood, the game director takes that pillar to another level by managing an innovative new card system. Okay, so we it got a card system. It starts with the deal. As you jump into a mission, the game director will play a set of corruption cards. Corruption cards can modify environmental conditions. We got them. Add challenges. Stick together. Get to the safe room. And send special ridden mutations your way. Not finished yet. After Good. the director plays their cards, you and your team get to play yours. You can jump right into the action by choosing a pre-made deck or dig into Back for Blood's vast customization. It's your choice how deep you want to go. Sign me up. Each player gets dealt a set of cards from their deck and can strategize with their friends over which to play. These cards offer buffs and bonuses that can amplify any playstyle you choose. Keep it up and the ridden don't stand a chance. Now, it's time to slay. Don't get oh. overrun by a swarm of stingers with the combat knife, you can thin out the horde with just a few stabs. The armored ridden can take a beating. Hopefully you have the ammo stash, because you're going to need a lot of bullets. The blighted ridden are dangerous even after they're dead. But with the pyro card, you replenish some of your health with every fiery death. As you prove your grit taking down the ridden, there are tons of different cards you can earn. Take on optional okay, challenges Okay, so you can earn these cards. Where you'll earn supply points and unlock new cards. You can even use your supply points to unlock cosmetic skins to customize your character. Once all the cards are on the table, you're ready to get back out there for even more carnage. The game director will adapt each mission to be dynamic and intense, always offering new challenges to make sure no playthrough feels the same as the last. Here they come! You and your friends will need to think on your feet to overcome anything the game director throws your way. Piece of cake! Find yourself constantly overrun by Ridden? Try shifting up your style by equipping cards that support your team with a medic build. I just or really play hope using your demolition this doesn't become a fill your deck with explosive modifiers that leave the Ridden they in pieces. They did say that it is something you can Of course, you can always earn. get up close and personal with a melee build. But I just hope it doesn't turn into something slashing. you have to buy. Play your cards. Slay the Ridden with your crew. Earn epic rewards. Then jump back in for a fresh new experience every time. Okay, so first off, I actually didn't know that it was made by the same creators as Left 4 Dead. So that's why some of people are saying it's like a Left 4 Dead 3, but it's not. It's a completely new game. So that was one thing. I knew they looked so similar. I should have looked into it a little bit more to see. But like, so with the card system, I believe, it, like they said, within the replayability. So with that replayability, you just have to keep going and just replay the campaign a few times so that way you can collect more of these cards to make it even more challenging or to make it even easier for yourself. Uh, and then you can get these said rewards if you add more cards to it to maybe make it difficult for you. However, I just really hope it doesn't transition. Or I think it's just purely earning and about their in, and they have in-game currency that um, you can earn a lot better. But I feel like they're definitely going to be including uh, an option for you to pay for real life money and in, into this and i really hope it doesn't come down to that i really hope that it's something that you have to really earn because then that just completely defeats the purpose of even being able to replay it so i'm hoping it's just strictly in-game money you have to earn and not buy so we shall see but that is i like the idea they got along with this they have the right right idea with you know replayability being at the top tier of any video game because i know a lot of games that i play i play the main campaign and then i'm pretty much finished that's why i don't play like online games as much even though i would i should a little bit since i'm spending so much but there's i love like story-based games more so uh but i think this is really cool and if you do pre-order you do get the m4 carbine uh uzi 
S70 and the RPK. Looks like these are the Fort Hope Elite Weapon Scan. So they're all camouflaged. So that's interesting. That's something on top of that. But I'm hoping it doesn't become a microtransaction hell spawn. So we shall see with more information to come in the future. But that is all the time I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I highly appreciate your time as always. But please do not forget to subscribe and or follow not only to my YouTube, but to my Twitch. You guys know where my YouTube is at, but you can find my Twitch at twitch.tv slash thegamedame. Thanks guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.